Time for a Monday morning sight check. I'm headed to the chalet and Kelsey's coming up to meet me because I could use an extra set of hands. We have a lot to do in the next two weeks and she's gonna come for a tour. We're gonna make some decisions and we're gonna keep this place rolling towards the finish line. Just in time for some winter skiing. What was that? Turn left. Uh, lefty. Turn left. That's in, my navigation. In That's 500 my... meters and 50 meters, turn left. Turn left now. Turn left. Thank you. Thank you, Eli. Don't skid. I got my winter tires on. I know. Feel the grip. It's so good. Feel the grip. I'm Sarah, and every day my life revolves around design, and I'm sharing it with you. Today is another chapter in my design life. Up at the chalet, Chris and Adam are adding some storage to the principal bedroom, while Kelsey and I review fabrics for another project. But today's biggest decision has got to be the paint color. And so far, we're in kind of a gray area. So this is our solid. This is our solid. And this is secret watered down. Watered down. That's the same color. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's the bottom. Uh, oh. Looks like army fatigues to me. I'm trying to choose a beam color and it's hard. Let's put it on the floor. The key is we love the color of this floor. So it's important to think about making sure that we get a continuous effect. It's a nice match. Marcos looks nice, but it's At this point, I feel like we've tried 25 shades of gray. Yep. Not 50? No. no. <laughs> Not yet? No. If we need to try 50 different shades of gray, I'm really bad at my job. And yes, enjoy that innuendo. Let's open this network gray and give it a whirl. I feel like that's the color. Um, yeah, I think that looks good. Looks like network gray is our shade. It's a gray that has some blue in it, but I think it's important that it go with our stone color. And it's important that it also go with the upholstery colors. That was the couch, right? Mm -hmm. I think that looks nice together. Can it's you like paint a, a little bit of the top beam for me? Yeah. I mean, we've gone this, we've really, we've really made a commitment. So what's not happening here is it's definitely not staying as is. We've gone past as is. Some people are likely watching this horrified that we've just decided to do our test in the most visible part of the entire room. Why test on a back corner? Why not just, just commit right there, right there in the open. I like it. You know, it gets less blue as it dries. <laughs> Charlotte's not sure. I love color covering the knots, so I'm totally good with this. <laughs> <laughs> I think people think I belong to the Wood Haters Association. What do you think? I like it. I think it looks Kelsey, Much you can't better. shake your head. You're going like this. I like I it. I like it. <laughs> I like, like it. it. I like it a lot. This is too khaki. I agree in the corner, especially. And this looks bright and fresh. Now the only question is, how's it going to look over with the stone over there? Should I paint? Should you? I think you should do just a little. I mean, we've little. already committed. I feel a little bit sick about all of this. <laughs> I can always sand it back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe paint the, the smaller bit in with your sample, your patchwork. In here? This is a lot of sampling. Well, it definitely dries much different because those yeah. look completely different. I like this better than that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Isn't that what we're painting right now? Yeah, Network but I like gray. the dry better than the yeah. wet color right now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Can't you imagine? No, it's not. I'm just, I'm just picked another color. <laughs> <laughs> Working the designer. <laughs> what do you know anyway? Uh, okay, so making decisions on wet paint colors not generally regarded as a great idea. No. So it needs to dry because when it dries, it's w when it dries and you see it, that is perfect. Yes. Sure hope it's perfect in the end. We'll find out soon enough, but right now, Kelsey and I are needed in the city to deal with some other colors. Do we love deliveries like this? There's some great colors in here. Perfect. Okay. That's, 
That's life on a ski hill, I tell ya. Right. Polka dots. Oh, that's cute. I've been online shopping at minted.com. Like iceberg. Oh, I know. Yes. Ooh, that's this. Awesome. It's an online source for artwork, murals, and accessories. Gorgeous. Wow. It looks like a painting. Right? <laughs> for about one one hundredth of the cost. Order online, order what you love, and then make a gallery wall. This is our client's palette. So I listen to the client, they love blues, they love grays, something playful and punchy for their young son's room. You always have to have some black and whites. Then we've got this really soft, watery tones over here. I feel like this is our client's core color palette, but we can't do the entire thing like this. So we're gonna have some fun. We're gonna go a little bit more aqua. We're gonna go some black and white. I feel like for the guest room, why not? Like thinking about how do we make this room have some energy and some excitement. I think that adding in some of these beautiful rich greens. Yes, it's a ski chalet, but here's my number one rule. You may think you're gonna use it most of the time in the winter, but if you don't also have some scenes that make you crave summer, then if summer comes, you don't want it all to look like winter. And in winter, you don't want it all to look like summer. So the key is, when you're thinking about a seasonal escape, is making sure that it actually speaks to all four seasons and embraces that vibe. And I think this does it. This feels so spring-summer. We've got the heart of winter. We've got icebergs. I just like the idea that we can do a sort of mixed media wall. I mean, it's all printed. But we've got reprints of paintings, we've got photographs. It's a good combo. It's Monday. We are one week away from trying to wrap up this chalet project and there is so much happening here. It's noisy, it's dusty, it's a little bit smelly, but you know what's happening? Progress, and I am not gonna ask anybody to be quiet because that's a really bad idea. Our floor is going in, check it out. This floor was being discontinued, so I got it for a crazy good deal. If you're on a budget, make some calls, call around, find out who's got stock and how you can make your budget go a little further. We're gonna need closed captioning today. We're gonna need closed captioning today. Okay, so this is good. Down here, come see this. When the floor arrived, this became storage. But look at our barn board. Barn board is awesome. What's not awesome is we're a little short on the barn board. So I've been going on Kijiji and I found a barn nearby that's coming down and they're apparently selling boards. This is funny. So, can you cut a little faster? Remember how we insulated and then drywalled on all the bedrooms? Judging by the noise that's transferring in this one area that we didn't insulate because it's not over a bedroom, I'm gonna say, good idea, SR, good idea. Okay, we are in the DIY zone now. Later it's gonna be known as the media room, but right now, this is the DIY zone. And in the DIY zone, we are making hay with all of the gift with purchase items. Well, not all, but some. So this is furniture that came with the chalet. And look how cute these beds are. These used to be bunk beds and they were kind of a mid-brown shade. So we've primed them now and we are gonna paint them. And these are going to be the anchors of a really fun little boy's room scheme. So what color should we paint them, my friends? What do you think? This is the artwork we're using in the boys' room, and I think pulling a color directly from the artwork is a surefire way to unify the scheme. I feel like we could either go dark navy, yeah, royal blue, or teal, or mint green. Yeah, agreed. So these are your choices. What are you gonna pick? Okay, and then we also have a king-size headboard. And in the principal bedroom, there was a giant bed, also very brown, 
So I decided that using the whole bed would be a little bit overwhelming, but look how great this bed is going to be painted. Once again, what color should we paint it? Do we go white? Do we go pale gray? Or should we do a daring color? Hmm? You tell me. We've got our ceiling has been painted here. That's cool. But I literally think the crew is trying to torture me. And I just need to know how long till we can get rid of the nut butter walls. The cashew colored walls are driving me bananas. The good news is we're getting wallpaper on these. So I'm super psyched about that. Now let's go see what's happening in other areas. Okay, a sneak little peek at the sauna bath. Look at this wall tile. This is what I call a workaround. I found this chevron tile that I wanted to use and then you know what happened? Somebody bought one half of it. So all they had was right slope available. So I said, that's fine. We're just gonna go with one diagonal pattern and then we're gonna intercept it with a thin band of blue tile. Look at this. I've never installed tile like this. I completely love it. I think it's really fun. And on the floor, we have a really nice blue penny round. Originally, I was gonna put opaque glass on this shower for privacy coming out of the sauna, but realistically, I'm feeling like nobody's ever gonna be in this shower while somebody else is in the sauna. So I think it would be better to put a clear glass door on this so you can admire this gorgeous tile work. And remember that ledge we had that was a necessity, just a site condition? Look at it now, shampoo shelf. It's looking smart. Wanna see more? What else do you wanna see? Yeah, you wanna see more? Oh. <laughs> Maybe we're not going upstairs after all. <laughs> Here comes my ladder. Now we've got one pretty big change upstairs. Thanks. We started off with the brilliant idea that we could refinish the floors ourselves. But the more Chris investigated, the more evident it became that redoing the pine might just be more of a nightmare than it's worth. So then I found the floor that we're using downstairs for such an amazing price that we decided in order to make the contemporary style that we wanted work, it would be best to have a consistent, continuous new floor on both levels that link the entire experience together. So that's what we're doing. Do you love tile progress? We have made big strides. Our shower is grouted. All of the tile in here is looking amazing. What I love about this bathroom is the idea was just all white and this feels completely winter appropriate to me we've got a snowflake pattern tile we've got our oriental white marble installed in a straight herringbone pattern on the floor the drawer fronts are now installed on our vanities and like look how much storage this is you guys this is awesome this is just such great storage. I've never used this door front before, but I think it looks fabulous. So next up on my list, I have to find mirrors. I have to find the pendant lights. We're down to finishing touches here and things are gonna really, really start to roll for the rest of the week. Exciting times here. The light is fading, but the crew is all working. We are gonna keep pushing ahead. All of the floors will be done by the end of tomorrow. Finishing touches on the beams, finishing touches on painting this faux antler chandelier, and then countertops are coming in, backsplash will go up, and we're going to wrap it up. And then we're going to move some furniture in. And that was a really bad dance move, so I'm just going to leave. Next time. Lovely morning. It's minus seven. The truck with all of our furniture arrived and the best part is that they can't back down the driveway, apparently. This is gonna be fun. Stay tuned.